Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Aaron Hemingway and welcome back to Hemingway's class. If this is your first time here, uh, just a little bit about myself. I am a special education teacher. I teach students that have moderate to severe intellectual disabilities, developmental disabilities, autism, things like that. And so today I wanted to answer the question of, is it possible to have N2Y which is a curriculum, more specifically unique learning systems, and Google, can they coexist together? And so today I'm gonna show you how those two worlds can combine into one. And the reason that I wanna be able to do this is because I wanna, I wanna be able to prepare my students for life outside of the classroom and moving forward into their adult life and moving forward into their independence. Just knowing that they will someday be adults, they're not always gonna have things handed to them. They're not always gonna have the accessibility options that I provide for them or the accommodations that I provide for them. So I wanna show how you can take a curriculum geared towards special education but then take that curriculum and apply some of the materials um, into Google to kind of streamline the whole process. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So um, as you can see right here, I am on the Google page. Um, I'm gonna go to into.y.com. I apologize, my uh, internet is a little bit slow. I'm gonna sign in, teacher admin. Sign in again. Here's everything that I'm subscribed to. What I'm gonna do is we are going to go to unique learning systems. And right now, hold on, let me get rid of this thing over here. Right now, uh, we are going to be starting chapter four. This whole unit has been about American peacekeepers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here, sorry, let me slow down, click on these three lines and go to monthly lessons. And then February is what I'm focusing on right now. Our uh, content area is history. And then the topic is American Peacekeepers right here. So what I wanna do is instead of having an iDoc, I wanna have a PDF. So I'm gonna click on PDF. And then I'm going to scroll down until I get right here. Chapter four, Jackie Robinson. Ooh, that's gonna be a good one. So I'm gonna click on that. And it should pull up the PDF. Perfect. And then um, I'm gonna scroll down and get until I get to the actual story. And so right here, um, this is the highest level of the book. If you look right here, it has like the most amount of words and stuff on it. And so this is gonna be for my higher functioning students. And so notice right here, it says page seven. So I'm gonna scroll down until the chapter is over. So this would be the last page, so 14. So I'm gonna go over here and click on the printer button. And then right here, the destination, we're gonna change it. We're gonna change to save to Google Drive. And then um, the pages, we don't want all of them. Remember, it's just page seven through 14. And it gives us our preview over here. So if we just kind of scroll down, look through. So everything's there. And um, so 
everything looks good, so I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And give it a minute. And you know. Okay, perfect. So like I said, that's the highest level of the book. Now, this one right here, this one's the middle one. I typically don't use this one. Um, I like to skip down to the book that has the symbols. And so I'm gonna go back up here to, uh, and notice again, page 23. So I'm gonna remember 23, scroll down. And then the last page of the chapter is page 30. So again, I'm gonna click on print. Notice that save to Google Drive has already been selected since that was the last thing I chose to print to. So I want to do page, I already forgot, 23 through 30, okay. So pages 23 through 30. And then again, just to check to make sure that I did it correctly, here's everything, okay. Um, also, the last one said eight pages, this one says eight pages, so I believe that means I'm doing something correctly. So I'm gonna click save. Now, I'm gonna open up a new tab, and I'm going to open my Google Drive. Right here, notice how they show up. And they say lesson nine uh, dot PDF, so we're gonna wanna change the title of that. So let me click on this one. And this one is the regular version. So let me get out of here. I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna click rename. And I'm gonna call it Chapter four, Jackie Robinson, and then click OK. This one right here, if I'm not mistaken, should be the one with the symbols on it, which it is. So I'm going to, again, right click, go down to rename, click on it, and then I'm going to do the same thing. Chapter four, Jackie Robinson. But this time, since this one has symbols on it, I'm going to call it symbols. So, oops, and I forgot to go four right here. So chapter four, Jackie Robinson, symbols.pdf. And I'm gonna click okay. The other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to get all my folders right here because I wanna move these two items into my unique learning systems folder. So I'm gonna, uh, if you click on one, hold down the shift, button and then click on the next, oh, I guess it's not gonna work right there, hold on. Uh, okay, I don't know where it is. So uh, I'm just gonna drag it. Maybe, okay, maybe not. Um, where is it? Oh, these are in alphabetical order, so let me, there, I'm gonna click C. No, that didn't work. You get to watch me uh, mess up on this. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. So, chapter four, Jackie Robinson symbols. Chapter, chapter four, Jackie Robinson. So, again, I'm gonna highlight it. I'm gonna hold down shift and then I'm gonna select the next one. And now they're both selected. And I'm gonna drag it over here to unique framing system. Let me go over to this folder. And uh, I want junior high, because that's what I teach. So I'm gonna put it in my junior high folder. Maybe. Okay, yeah, there we go. Open up my junior high folder. 
and I'm going to move them into my American Peacekeepers, which is the name of the unit that we're doing right now. So see, there they are. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to Google Classroom I have a lot of professional development ones on here. I'm gonna click on my reading class. I'm gonna go up here to classwork and I'm gonna click create. And I wanna create a material. And we're gonna go chapter four, Jackie, Robinson. I'm not going to put in a description. Uh, and then again, the topic, I want to select materials. And then I'm going to click right here to get it from my drive. And gosh, I think it's this one. Let's see. Jackie Robinson symbols. No, I don't want the simple one. I just want the regular one. This one. And what I would normally do, um, I don't want to show you because it has my students' names on here, but you click all students. And what I normally do is I assign this book to my um, higher functioning students. And then I go back, create the same assign or the same material and I uh, create or I add the chapter four Jackie Robinson with symbols. And then I give that to my students who struggle more with reading. So you can individualize it as well. And then you just click post. And there you have it. Chapter four, Jackie Robinson. Go down here. And the students will be able to see it on their end. Um, it won't pop up like mine <laughs> uh, Well, uh, theirs will look a little bit different But uh, they'll have this book just like this and so now it is in Google and they can access it and have all their materials and assignments directly from Google Drive uh, The only downfall to this is it doesn't read the book for you but again, if your focus is working on reading, then that's okay. Reading and comprehension and stuff like that. So anyway, I hope that you guys liked this video. I hope that it was helpful and you helped kind of see how you can combine the world of N2Y, unique learning systems and Google and put it all into one. If you have any questions, um, leave a comment down below and I would be more than happy to help you in any way that I can. If you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.